treat for y'all all you 410 gear um, guys out there I've got my man Brandon who um, was kind enough to come through and give me a feel how 410 feels with a manual Mustang now last video my friend Anthony came over he had a uh, 4i70w with 410 gears and so I'm kind of curious to see how 410s feel with a 5-speed now, Brandon, how long have you um, had this car and uh, what all have you done to it? It's going on three years. Um, I've done to the car exhaust. It's got an X-Pipe BBK, uh, American Thunder, Flowmaster exhaust. The car is lowered, Milstein shocks, H&R springs. It's got mo uh, Max Motorsport uh, caster camera plates. That's, that's pretty much it. Now, the majority of the stuff was done when you got the car or did you- The uh, only thing I did to the car was throw the X-Pipe on the uh, check engine light uh, eliminators. Man, I gotta say, like, um, this thing sounds, go ahead and give it a quick little hit. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's loud. <laughs> and like, I, like I, I love the sound of a push rod motor, but man, like with, with the right exhaust setup with these uh, 4.6 motors, they sound just as good. One of probably the best sounding uh, combinations out there, a two valve with exhaust. I mean, it's hard to beat it. Yeah, uh, sounds fast, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's another story for another day. So you said it sounds fast, and you wanted to go fast. Now I know last time I talked to you, we uh, met out in um, Homer Glen, and you um, had a torque tech kit. Yes, but you kind of had a change of heart on which power adder that you want to go with. Yeah, so I've been really looking at the On Three Turbo kit. To me, it's the best bang for buck. Uh, you know, it's a good quality kit. I mean, you have to change a few things for, for overall for the money and what you're getting. It's, it's not a bad kit. Yeah. Like, I'm a firm believer of um, going three turbo kits on these on these cars. I think, you know, you can spend a lot of money on these cars with heads, cams, and exhaust and stuff like that. And you really want to have a fast car. The fast is relative, but I think the best bang for buck that you can do to these things is throw a turbo kit on here. Yeah. Now, if um, when you go with the turbo kit, what size turbo are you looking at? I'm gonna go big, 76 millimeter. 76, yeah. all right, you can't, you can't beat that. And you know, the, the good thing about, see with me, with a big turbo and an automatic, you really have to have a um, the correct stall. But by this being a, a manual, like uh, a, a big turbo in the manual was more forgiving. So I, I think that's a good choice. Like I say, go, go as big as you want. And um, you can always, you know, tweak the gearing. Yeah. What, what gear would you put up in here? I would probably drop down 355s. 355, yeah. yeah. So get the turbo kit on there. Do some highway pulls. Do some. <laughs> <laughs> and in see Mexico, how you, of course. Right, right. We don't do illegal stuff out here. Yeah, yeah put the turbo kit on there and um, see, you know, how you like it. Like, Power-wise, where would you like to be in this car? I mean, I would be happy and satisfied around 450 to 500, you know. I don't need nothing crazy. I just want to have some fun on the street, you know. I'm not trying to set records. I'm not trying to break stuff, more importantly, because, you know, that gets kind of expensive. But 
I mean, just looking for an overall fun street car. You know. Sorry. <laughs> trend that's going on right now is everybody's trying to chase four digit horsepower numbers yeah and I, I think a lot of people don't understand what that means on the street yeah. and honestly I think 450 to 500 rear wheel horsepower in these SN95s is gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings like it's a car that's treatable and it's a car that you can do whatever you want to with like what, what would you, your, your plan would be for this car like what is this car to you I mean, this car to me is like uh, kind of a, a one trick pony, but really can do a lot of things. Like I would love to take the car, you know, autocross, uh, you know, time event competitions, maybe see the track every now and then. But to me, it's just overall fun car. Something I could work on, wrench on, you know, go to meets, hang out with people, get to meet people and things like that. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's just the overall fun car just to, just to meet people and just be in the lifestyle of wrenching and dealing with automotive stuff. So, you uh, said one trick pony, and you were talking to me about uh, a social media platform that you're going to start, or you have started. So, want to shout that out? Yeah, I'm on IG right now. It's uh, one trick pony underscore O2, and I'm going to be making a, a YouTube page real soon with the same name. But definitely, I got a lot of pictures, a lot of car content on the IG page, so definitely check it out, man. Just any type of comments or anything like that would be awesome. So now, are you like, what's your vision? Are you gonna just throw the on three kit on so this motor? I go or? back and forth, like we were talking about it. You know, it's I think two valves that are, are built and boosted, those are like rare and those are special. But you know, shout out to my boy uh, at Wrench Hats, uh, my, my homie, he's got a Cobra 98 Cobra, and I just love the way a four valve sounds. Yeah, it's yeah, just, it's just uh, just an aggressive sounding you know motor but you know to me to be different you know we don't see a lot of two valves out here that are boosted especially in my area so i mean to stand out is something kind of unique to me so i think i'm just probably going to go that route uh you know i'm you know thinking about maybe doing trick flow heads but you know how we were discussing that you know maybe you know just sticking with the r3 throwing some cams in it you know um might be good enough you know i definitely want to go to a six speed you know just to be able to uh get the extra gearing and whatnot but right. i mean i've gone through so many iterations of this car in my head you know it's the sky's the limit to me it's just yeah. whatever my pocket's <laughs> gonna allow at this point and you know the funny thing is uh, you're not alone with that i think everybody who's out here are gearheads like we we all have that that same phobia where you know as the wind blows we change our setups on what we how we want to build it and yeah. what we want out of it but you know the, the good thing is is you know you can take your time with it and build it the way you want to and do it right the first time exactly because you don't want to be in these one of these situations where you you, you build something I, i've been down that road before yeah. like i i, I built something and, and didn't really wasn't really knowledgeable enough in it and it was just a dud yeah. <laughs> and you know i regret it it's, it's a lot of money and time to put into that but you know you're doing your research and you know, as personally i don't think you can go wrong with a one three turbo kit and these 4.6 motors but yeah big shout out to isaac you know, hopefully I can get a chance to um, link up with him and um, get a ride in that beautiful Cobra that he's got. But man, yeah, you get this car boosted, we'll be the Boost Brothers out yeah, here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> so you, you do the on three turbo kit, the uh, T56. Yes. Like ultimately, what would if like you had a blank check? What, uh, would, you, what would you do to <laughs> this car? Oh uh, man. Honestly, I probably would go for a valve with B-heads. Uh, still stick with the O3 turbo kit, six speed, probably swap out to IRS. I do have a taxi block in, sitting in my garage right now. So I would just get that kind of cleaned up, forge it all out. Cause I'm kind of like you, if you're gonna do it right, do it right the first time yeah. and make it so you can beat on it. So kind of overbuild it, so yeah. to speak. But I mean, like you, like we were talking about, it's just sky's the limit with this platform. It's just so much you can do: two valve, three valve, four valve, oh, yeah. OD swap, yep. even the seven point three. I mean, it's the sky's the limit. It's just your imagination and what your bank book. Yeah, <laughs> imagination and budget. Yeah. yeah, that plays a big part into it. I'm sold on these four tens. Like, it's, it's no doubt that we're gonna throw those four tens on there. But we drive Project Kendra all around. Like, we drove sixteen hours to uh, Mustang Week. 
How is this thing on the expressway? I mean, it's it's decent. It's not bad. I mean, I'm not the horror stories you hear. It's not like it's like four, you know, four, five, six gears. I mean, it is spinning kind of hard in fifth gear. But I mean, if you're just cruising, it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, I personally, me, because I bought the car with the 14 gears, I would probably do uh, 373s. That's just me. But uh, you know, 14s for auto all day, yeah. all day. Yeah, it's funny. It's this one guy. Um, I was uh, Mustang Week, and he was talking about how he's got 456s. And like, I couldn't imagine like. Can you be driving first gear? <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine that. But yeah, definitely gonna um, do these 410s. It, it just sounds like, and from the feel of this car and from the feel of the automatic car, I, you know, these are high revving cars. So yeah. you know, I'm, I'm still in that push rod mentality. Mm -hmm. But you know, for the white bird, we, we got to go with the four tens, man. So I appreciate you giving me a chance to um, hang out with you and get a feel for this car. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's very clean. I, I love the color. Um, is this mineral mineral gray? Mineral gray, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stands out. Definitely yeah, stands out. Most definitely, man. So go ahead and shout out your social media again. So once again, at IG One Trick Pony underscore O two. All right, so hey, when you get that turbo kit, man, hit me up oh, and man, uh, whatever. First one I call. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, make sure you um, follow him on Instagram, and when he's dropping that uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe to that because he's got some things coming that y'all gonna want to see. So yeah, I appreciate y'all time and God bless.